What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Legacy Wednesday, and today we are covering the Rayquaza EX deck. Now, if you play in some competitively this year, you actually know that this Rayquaza EX, this actually whole deck concept is legal for Expanded. Uh, this deck is actually called Ray Eels. They say Ray Eels for Rayquaza and Eels for the electric part. Uh, but today, we're going to cover in Legacy, and we're going to see why this deck is so strong. I actually love this deck a lot, just because you have the potential to take one-shots on pretty much anybody you want to in the Legacy mode, which is pretty pretty nice. It does struggle against decks that can hit EX Pokemon for high amount of damage, like a Tool Drop and Weavile, but sometimes you can get lucky and beat those decks as well. Now, the main attacker is going to be Rayquaza EX. It has a Dragon Burst attack, which is what we're going to mainly use. You discard all Fire Energy or Basic Light Energy attached to this Pokemon, and this attack does 60 damage times the number of energy cards you discard in this way. So if you discard 3 Lightning, which is what we're going to do, you're going to do 180 damage and pretty much knock out any EX on the field. Uh, luckily, there's no Megas in Legacy, so you don't have to worry about hitting for 200 plus. Uh, 180 is pretty much it, unless they have a Hard Charm that you have to hit for 200, but you can just attach a 4th Lightning Energy, uh, which is uh, sometimes okay. And the way we're going to recycle our light injuries is, of course, with E-Electric. Electric has the ability Dynamotor. Dynamotor says, what's during the turn before you attack? You may touch a light energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. And that's how we're going to constantly real feel our Rayquaza. Now, remember, this only attaches to the bench. So the way we're going to get uh, the Rayquaza onto the bench is when you use Keldeo with the Russian. You can Russian, uh, you can switch Keldeo with the Act Pokemon. It doesn't count for your switch return. A Russian sets once during the turn before you attack. If this Pokemon is on your bench, you may switch this Pokemon with your active Pokemon. So that way you can send their Keldeo into the active spot, use Dynamo multiple times onto your Rayquaza, and take knockouts this way by then float starting your Keldeo from the active spot to the bench. We see this concept used a lot in Legacy, or not in Legacy, in Expanded and in Standard, so it pretty much just covers over to Legacy, or Legacy mode. But we do have two, in, two friends in this deck that I do like a lot. The first one is going to be Rayquaza. And the reason why this Rayquaza is so good is because uh, Sigilyph is somewhat big. See, Sigilyph and Sigilyph are really big right now in this game. Or they played a lot in, this, in Legacy mode because they make it where EX Pokemon can't hurt them. So you have to use, you have to use Garbodon to shut those down. But Rayquaza can use Shred, hit for 90, and do some damage that way. It actually is a really good attacker. Like Dragon Pulse turn 1, doing 40 damage could maybe knock out some Pokemon if you get lucky. And Shred for 90 is really good as well. It does put some pressure on some Pokemon, which is really, really nice. But the main really cool guy is this Victini. Uh, Victini has the attack V Create. It does 100 damage, but if you have if you have f four or fewer bench Pokemon, this attack does nothing. So you have to have a full bench of five to use V Create. And the reason why this attack is so good, like 100 damage is a lot. That does a ton of damage for two energies. But this also helps you out against Frenzy and Genesect, which is probably one of the best decks online. And when you use V-Create, you can hit for weakness and take knockouts that way. So not only do you have Rayquaza to knock out EX Pokemon, you have Victini to help you out against Frenzy and Genesect as well. So that's going to be all the Pokemon in the deck. And before I continue, um, if you're watching this right now, let me know how my mic sounds. Some people are saying that it doesn't sound great. Uh, some people are saying it sounds better. And I'm not sure what do people think. It sounds different because I'm using a better computer that actually, like, can pick up the microphone better, I guess. I'm not 100% sure why it sounds different. I don't know. It's in the same exact spot. It's right here from my face. Um, I don't know why it sounds different. I'm not sure. I'm going to play around the audio next week for sure and try to fix this out if people do not like it. So make sure you leave it, uh, let me know in the comments if you like this or not. Uh, but let's get, keep going with deck. Sorry about that. Uh, but one, computer search just for consistency. Two, dual ball. Flip two coins for each head. Search check for base Pokemon. Show it to your opponent and put it into your hand. Now, the reason why I like this card a lot is because you have the p potential to get two Pokemon out. Um, sometimes, like, you can, like, you can use Love Ball to get out Tynamos in, in a, a Rayquaza, while, as Love Ball only gets you the Tynamo, and sometimes you don't want to discard cards. It's really a weird situation. Like, you could go for Ultra Ball for, uh, Love Ball, but I really like having multiple ways to search with Dual Ball. I don't know. I I just like Dual Ball for some reason. I don't know why, but it's, it's just cool to flip coins, and maybe I just like flipping coins. Like, Birch is one of my favorite cards in, like, Standard for some reason, and Dual Ball, you just flip coins. I don't know. If you flip Double Heads, you get two base Pokemon, which is really nice turn one. Uh, four Junk Arms to reuse our Trina cards, which is really nice. Two Love Ball to search for Pokemon with 9 HP or less, which is Electric, Tynamo, and the uh, Big Teeny. One Pokemon Catcher, which I think almost every deck should play Catcher since there's no Lysander in this format. Catcher says, switch your opponent's Act Pokemon. Okay, well, this, this it is not Swift. Don't don't read that. Uh, it, it actually, it's Errata. So now you flip a coin if has bring a Pokemon off the bench to the Act spot. Man, I wish Catcher was like Old Catcher in Legacy. 
might be kind of broke, but it just has switch your opponents active with one of their bands, but you actually flip a coin. If heads, it works. If tails, it does not. One random receiver, flip other cards, do you find a supporter card? This is really great because you don't play a VS Seeker, so you can use Junk Arm for a random receiver to guarantee the supporter card. And we play Oak, Juniper, and a Color, so you're going to hit a supporter card. Hopefully, you don't hit it in late game, but still, you might need to hit one just to draw new cards. One Super Broad, again, a three combination of Pokemon and Energies. One Tool Scrapper. To discard two tools and play attached to Pokemon, either yours or your opponent's. And this is going to help you out against Garboder. Um, it probably still doesn't give you the auto win. Like, you tool scrapper discard a Bloodstone off a of Garboder, but you have to license it up to, I mean, catcher it up to knock it out. Sorry, license does not exist. So you have to tool scrapper and catcher to bring up a Garboder to take a knockout. For Ultra Ball to get any Pokemon, and you also can feel your electrics with uh, by discarding lightning energies. Two cores because you're going to have a full bench, and so will your opponent. 3 in, 4 Juniper, 3 Oak. I'm not sure the supporter counts like I've always said in these videos. Uh, and like I said just yet, but we're playing 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 supporters seems really nice. And you're going to constantly hit them, which is great. Uh, consistency is going to help you out a lot. Uh, Juniper, discard your hand, draw 70 cards. Oak, shuffle your hands to deck and draw 6 cards. I wish Oak existed in standard, but sadly it does not. To Tropical Beach, because turn one, you're probably not going to attack. Uh, you might want to play a third one. You could probably opt not to play any Tropical Beach if you want to. You could play, like, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe fl not Flow Stones. We already have Flow Stones in here. What am, I, <laughs> what am I talking about? Sky or Bridge. Sky or Bridge could be nice if you don't find a Keldeo on a Flow Stone or for your uh, Garboder liked or something. You could use uh, Sky or Bridge to give you a cause of free retreat if you want to instead of the Tropical Beach. Three Flowstone, which might seem like a lot. I'm tempted to cut one for another Super Rod to play two of these. Uh, right now, we're playing three Flowstone to give Keldeo free retreat. Three Fire and eight Lightning Energies. And there is my Rayquaza EX deck. Now, like I said, I love this deck a lot. I think Bikini is a really cool attacker. It does 100 damage, which, which could uh, take some knockouts on some base Pokemon or something. Like maybe on a Trubbish um, or a Weavile. I think that's the way you want to go against Weavile and Trubbish. You want to attack with Rayquaza and Bikini. Uh, just kind of switch between those two, maybe Super Rod help you out, but still, it's probably a really bad matchup, but either way, I think this deck is really good, it does pretty much beat all the EX decks, which is really nice, but hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Legacy Wednesday, and let's see the deck in action. Alright, you're putting against the Sushi Bomber, playing a Colorless Grass and a Fire deck, I'm not sure what this combination could be, but we'll find out here in a second, and we'll call heads like always, and let's see who's going to go first, and we, we lost the coin flip, which is unfortunate, because... We need that turn we put down at Eels, evolve them into electrics, or put, get our Tynamos out, evolve into electrics, okay? Uh, so we get a Rayquaza, we could use Dragon Pulse turn one, which could be great. We'll put double Tynamo down. And the question is, do I want to Juniper this hand away? Like, we have a, we can, we have more Junk Armor, so we can get back Super Rod, so I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, but let's see, what is my opponent playing? And they start the Pokemon that has 40 HP, we could knock it out. But there is a V Crate Bikini and a Genesect. So it looks like it's going to be a Verizian Genesect deck versus our Ray Eels deck. Now we do play our own Bikini as well. We see a Grass Energy going on that guy, okay? We see a Cold Machine going to put a, a Plasma Energy onto that guy and a pass onto our turn, alright? So we get there across the X. I'm going to put that down. And I'm going to use Juniper, discard our hand, draw on seven new cards. We will discard a time, an, uh, an Electric, but that's going to be okay. We all, uh, well, hmm, let's use random receiver. Okay, we'll grab an oak, which is great for next turn. I'm going to ultra ball, discard ultra ball to lightning, and I'm contemplating to get a Keldy out this turn. Like, our opponent could maybe knock it out. I kind of want to get an energy chat. Oh, no, we need, we need to get another time. Uh, okay, we have enough eel, so we need to get a time out this turn, because if we don't get a time out, we actually can't take, oh, we already had a time on our hand. All right, so put that Tynamo, and uh, we'll pass. We already had a Tynamo in our hand. We should have just grabbed, like, a Fire Energy. Uh, not a Fire Energy, a Keldeo, so we could rush and retreat. But all the time, Punisher, they could use a uh, Megalo Cannon. They would see a, a Shaman coming down with Celebration win. Ooh, man, that's spicy. They're going to move the energies around any way they want to. And let's see, where does my opponent move these energies? Why are they playing it right now? It looks like he's going to do nothing. And just going to Juniper, discard the hand, draw on seven new cards. All right, this is a very... A uh, weird looking version of Genesect deck. We've seen another Genesect come down as well. A Smeargle coming down with the Portrait. Which my opponent will know he gets the Oak if he decides to use that. And let's see what else does my opponent have. A Grass you're going to have Genesect. And do they have like a Skyro Bridge or not is the big question. There's a switch into the Genesect. It looks like my opponent is going to use a Megalo Cannon. It won't knock us out. It'll only do 100 damage and 22 Autonomo. Alright, so on our turn. Let's see what do we get. 
We get a plus stone. Oh, man. If only we had gotten the eel. I mean, if only we had gotten the, uh... <laughs> well, I guess we could put down the eel. <laughs> we can plus stone this guy and just use plus and just, uh... This is oak regardless. I guess that's okay. And let's see what do we get off the oak. Oh, okay. Alright. Alright. So, uh, we can catch her. We can bring up maybe the other Genesect. That's a very unfortunate hand. Alright, so let's, uh, let's Dynamo number one. Put a lightning ninja on this guy. Uh, do we go for a Thunder Wave? I don't think so. Put a lightning ninja on this guy. And we'll catch her trying to bring up the other Genesect. Tails, okay. And we're going to end our... Hmm. Like, I kind of... Okay, he's going to... Yeah, we're going to end my turn. Regardless, he could knock us out next turn. He could do 20 damage to a bench. If he has a Plasma Energy here, he could take two knockouts this turn, which would be very, very unfortunate. Uh, we do have more Flowstones left in the deck. We just got to find them. Uh, we do have one Junk Arm down. I'm just sad that we didn't hit a Fire Energy. I mean, regardless, we could take a knockout this turn. We didn't get more Electrics into play. We've only... We haven't seen... Well, we see two Ultra Balls, I guess. We have, we have two more left. Uh, no love balls as of yet, and we still have junk arms as well. Next turn, we're probably just going to Juniper discard our hand, draw seven new cards. There's a the Skyla, and let's see what does my opponent decide to get out. Um, either way, this Rayquaza is scary. They need a G booster. If they get a G booster right now, and a uh, yeah, if they get a G booster and a Plasma Energy, he can take a knockout on our Rayquaza EX and pretty much take the uh, only threat out. But if we get the V Create Victini, a Fire Energy, and warm Pokemon, we can take a knockout on this guy, which is pretty nice. And let's see, what does this guy like give my opponent? There's a Colish Machine. So maybe his G Booster is priced. Like, I'm not that sure. This aggression, you go on the bench, okay? Uh, Colish Machine, going to the Genesect most likely, okay? And we'll probably see a Mega Low Cannon. I wonder where the 20 damage will go, is my question. 120 to this guy. All right, so on our turn, the question is, who do we send up? Um, I'm going to send a Tynamo. I think it's the best play. Like, if we don't hit what we need, we could go for Thunder Wave. Uh, there's a Fire Energy, so we're going for it. There's a Thunder a Fire Energy. Well, Juniper, discard our hand. Draw with seven new cards. And let's see, do we find a Flow Stone? And we don't. All right, so we'll put down an Eel. We will put down this guy. I'm going to actually hide the Vitini. I'm not going to play it right now. Uh, do, we don't have any more Tynamos either. Wait, yeah, we, uh, one, two, three. We have one Tynamo. So I'm going to Love Ball for a Tynamo. Okay. And I'm just going to pass this turn. My opponent will go up to two prize cards, but next turn we take a knockout with this guy. Oh, I forgot to Dynamo. <gasps> oh my goodness, I forgot to Dynamo. We should have Dynamo to the Rayquaza. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, that was a mistake on my part. There's an energy surge. Going to search for grass energy, most likely. Okay. Now it's just me being silly. I don't know why. I should have Dynamo. Uh, grass energy is that guy. Okay. Man, I, I should have Dynamo. That's going to bite me, maybe. My bite me. Uh, okay. Let's see. There's a Mega Cannon. All right. Going to take a knockout. And where does the 20 damage go? That's my question. Now, I think next turn, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to send him an Electric. Yeah, we're going to send him an Electric. I know this is kind of scary, but onto our turn. Let's see. What do we get? We get a Rayquaza. So I'm going to put down Victini. I'm going to put a Fire Energy to this guy. I'm going to use, put down the Chalk Beach, and I'm going to Oak. Show up our hands to deck and hopefully we can find a Junk Arm or a Flow Stone. Alright, so there's a Junk Arm. That's great. So we're going to Junk Arm, discard the Dual Ball and the uh, Tropical Beach. And with this, we'll grab a Flow Stone. We'll Flow Stone the active. Use Dynamotor number one, uh, putting a Lightning on this guy. Um, And let's go for a V Crate right now while we can. We'll Dynamotor number two, uh, putting on this guy. And we'll take a knockout next turn. And next turn, we can take another knockout on his Genesect as well. So let's free retreat into this guy. And let's go for the V-Crate. Going to knock out this Genesect DX. Going to do 200 damage. There we go. Uh, even though we, we whiffed that energy attachment, we're tied up in prizes now. And if my opponent knocks out the Victini, so what? It only gives him one prize card. And we have a retaliation with this Rayquaza, which is really nice. A Smeagol comes up to the active spot and owns my opponent's turn. Uh, he's going to be able to use Portrait and either use Chorus or Juniper. Both of those cards are going to be great for my opponent. But if he takes a knockout this turn, the V Crate Victini will still take a knockout on the uh, the Genesect DX. So we see a Genesect DX come down, okay? And let's see what's going to happen. Have we played our, our catcher? We have a catcher in the discard pile. So we could go for a Junk Arm next turn to maybe knock out the Genesect if he opts not to attack this turn, if he doesn't for some reason. Um, But he needs a G Booster and a Plasma Energy. But there's a Grass Energy going to that guy, so that's not a G Booster. That is great for us. A Skyo Bridge coming down. 
And that's going to be great because now our Rayquaza DX is half free retreat, which is really, really nice. I do like that a lot. And let's see, does my opponent be aggressive attack with this guy? There's a Shadow Tribe getting a Plasma Energy, but he already attached his turn. So he can't red single anybody up because he already attached his Grass Energy to Genesect. We see a Portrait, and he's going to probably use Cores. Going to show up with a hand to deck and get eight new or nine new cards. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is really, really nice. But still, my opponent's going to be a bad situation. If they attack with that Genesect this turn, we can catch it up, maybe. We have to hit a heads on the catcher. Um, if we don't, I don't know. We'll still maybe be okay. v Craig can still just knock out the Smeargle. We'll do 100 damage regardless. And our opponent is kind of on defense. But if we flip heads with this catcher, we'll be A-OK. -okay. There's a Love Ball. Going to get somebody out in play. Man, okay, there's a Celebi, all right. Oh, Celebi, there we go. Celebi coming down to save the day. Oh, there's Celebi. All right, so shame. A Celebi has the Forest Wind, a Forest Breath, sorry. Contest your Grass Energy from their hand to one of their Pokemon, okay. Um, let's see, does my opponent have anything or not? Uh, will they attack with Genesect? And if they do, they're pretty much going to lose the game. There's a switch into the Celebi. We'll see a Forest Breath, attach a Grass Energy onto that uh, Genesect, okay. And, I mean, I don't know if my opponent attacks this turn. We can take a knockout with this guy. And then we're tight. We're two to four in price guards. We have two junk arms, which could help us out a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling very, very confident right now. Maybe too confident, but, hey, I believe in us. I believe in miracles. I mean, it's not really a miracle. We're just up on price guards. Now, if he takes a knockout, oh, uh, he's going to send a Shaman. All right. All right. So he's going to say, hey, I know if I take a knockout Genesect, I lose. So on our turn, let's see what happens. There's a Juniper, so I'm going to Junk Arm. I'm going to discard Keldeo and a Juniper. And with this, we're going to go for a Catcher. If we get Catcher Heads here, that's going to be great. We'll pretty much seal the game up. So let's go for this Catcher. Does Catcher hit Heads? And it does hit Heads. We'll bring up that Genesect DX, and we will Dynamo number one onto the other Aquaza. Try to get a setup as well, and we'll go for a V-Crate, and we'll knock out this Genesect DX. That Catcher came in so clutch, and that's why I love this in the deck so much. If you heads, it does win you games. So now my opponent is in a tough spot. If they attack with the Genesect, what can they do? Like, they're going to get knocked out by this guy. Uh, V-Crick, Bikini can take a knockout. And, oh my goodness, we are looking great right now. And let's see, what does my opponent decide to do? A Grass Energy goes down to Genesect. A Dual Ball, going to flip two coins. Tails, and it heads. All right, so they're going to get one Pokemon out. And I wonder, what are they going to get? And what can they even do? They can't even rest Sooner for Rayquaza because... He already catch a grass energy. So, a uh, Celebi coming down, okay. He might have to go... I don't even... He might have to go for a V-Crate. If he goes for a V-Crate, he can maybe take a knockout on a Victini. And, uh, I don't know what that'll do. But we'll see a random receiver. It looks like he's gonna grab a Skyla, okay. But he already catch a grass energy. So, he, ca he can't attack with a Victini this turn either. So, I don't know. It looks like my opponent is gonna lose his game and pass on to our turn. Let's do it again. Uh, Junk Arm discard oak and the level ball and with this we'll go for another catcher we could be smart going for a super rod but nope we're going for a catcher we're going to try to bring him this genesect dx and heads we're going to bring him that genesect dx and we are going to use v create one more time going to do 200 damage and there we see my opponent can see it in the game and there we go i don't even think we attacked for the quasi that game like we had the opportunity to attack our quasi but big teeny coming in so strong v create doing 200 damage to those genesects and take a knockout pretty easily. That was pretty, that was a great game. Uh, do we tap our quads at, at all? I don't remember. Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. But there you go, guys. There is the Rayquaza EX deck. I think this deck is really strong in Legacy. It does struggle sometimes against, like, Tool Drop and uh, Weevil, but it does pretty much beat everything else. But there you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great Wednesday. Sorry about that. I don't know what just happened. I almost died there. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a great Wednesday. Have a great Wednesday. All right. Bye. All right, guys. Just want to give a quick shout out to our two sponsors, 60 Cards and Yeti Gaming. The links are down below to their websites. Make sure you go check them out. All righty.